You know how many times you go to court and you know that they do wrong, but because of some technicality in the law, they could get away. Well, this will allow us to be able to say you could get away, but you will still be able to get back the asset or the unexplained wealth that you have. I would also like to highlight that this bill and the confiscation measures and unexplained wealth orders applies not only to politicians or ministers, but to all public offices. In fact, it is not limited to persons in the public sector, but also to the private sector as well. It applies to and confiscation measures may be brought against all persons in connection with property they have obtained through unlawful conduct. That is, conduct that would be contrary to any criminal laws in Belize or conduct in other jurisdictions where, if it had taken place in Belize, <coughs> would have been of an offense. So it's important for the public to understand that this bill that we are introducing today, the Civil Asset Recovery and Unexplained Wealth Bill, you know, everybody talk about the politicians. And there may be some good reason to do so, but it also will apply to our public officers, um, members of the police, immigration, customs, everybody within the government. <clears throat> but it also apply to private citizens who are in the business of conning people, stealing, having monies that they can't explain how they got their wealth. This bill further provides <coughs> the necessary suite of investigative tools to allow the Civil Recovery Authority to conduct thorough civil asset recovery investigations. <coughs> 